Hey everyone, welcome back. I am Jennifer. So I want to kind of jump on here. It's been a little while and talk about where my head's been at and what my plan is. I've really taken, taken into account these last two years. It's been about two years since I posted my first video on YouTube and I've been trying to work so hard at finding my, my passion, what I'd like to do. And I was doing way too much of following other people um, and what they wanted to do. And, and honestly, what I really want to do is be helpful and document my journey. So, uh, and be myself. Um, that's the key for me. And that's what I think I've finally figured out. And oddly enough, it kind of plays into what's going on right now in the world with the coronavirus, COVID-19. Um, my, so my passion is, and what it has been over the last 10 years has been saving money and finances and retiring early, um, paying cash for a brand new car, paying off my house early, um, investing in my future and investing in my daughter's future. And, you know, thinking ahead of, you know, how I can help my grandchildren and my great grandchildren. Um, because the, the path to wealth is a marathon, not a sprint. And that's what I'm finding. And I went through a lot of ups and downs and, um, in my early twenties, um, to get to where I am now. And I've struggled and I've made a lot of mistakes. And I feel like this is a perfect topic for me to just kind of document and possibly along the way help somebody else, even if it's just one person or just makes you kind of think about something else. Maybe that's what it does. So that's what I'm going to start doing today. I'm going to start documenting my journey, uh, myself and my husband's journey to paying off our mortgage early, um, how I save money, how I've learned to save money, the dumb stuff I've done in the past. Believe me, I've done it. Uh, I was also worried about like the judgment from others. Um, I was worried about, oh, I don't have makeup on and I hate wearing makeup. I pretty much wear the bare minimum of makeup and I was worried about I didn't have the right lighting or um, the right content or when would I have a chance to do it because I'm a full-time working mom. I was worried about the judgment of others and I'm not worried about that anymore. I'm, I'm done worrying about the judgment of others. If you don't like to see me without makeup, too bad. Um, but I think the what I kind of have to say in the journey that I want to document doesn't have anything to do with that. Um, so not worried about it anymore. And if you want to judge me, then go right on ahead because my opinion and my husband's opinion and the opinion of God is what matters to me. So what we plan to do is kind of show the journey to get to like paying off our house. Um, we are, I'm 36, my husband's 37, and um, we have two, I think it's like 244 left on our house and we bought it for 345. Um, and th that was two years ago. We also put 20% down, so don't automatically think I paid, you know, we've paid off 100 grand of the house that quickly. Um, but we really want to get the house paid off as quickly as we can because we want to be able to sit there and say, we own this piece of property. And can you imagine how cool it will feel when there are absolutely no payments to be had? All you have to pay is your utilities um, and groceries that will be really cool and at that point you can really start giving more and focusing on the future maybe investing um, more towards things that will make us money um, when we do retire early um, so that's our goal and that's what i kind of want to document my goal our goal right now we we have a spreadsheet that we put everything in and if everything stays along the same lines, we will have it paid off um, by December of 2025, possibly sooner. Obviously, typically when you're doing this, if everything goes well, you start, I mean, you make more each year and you really start getting into it, then things go a lot faster. So hopefully that will happen. And I think it will be really cool to look back when we do it. And maybe, you know, when I make a video and say, oh my gosh, we paid off our mortgage. 
I can say, hey, reference back to this first video that was filmed back in March of 2020. The other kind of reason to make this video and make these videos is to hold myself accountable. If I tell you guys what my grocery budget is for April and I don't get there, I'm gonna feel like crap, <laughs> you know? So um, I think that will, be, that will be fun and a lot more interesting because I wanna just make videos on things that interest me because and I, they don't have to be perfectly published or anything just because I think it's fun to watch people's journeys. That's more of um, what I like. You know, with the current situation and the uncertainty, we're all going to have our specific beliefs, our, our politics on it. Um, I'm not worried. Um, luckily, I'm not in a service industry as far as service industry, as far as like uh, retail or restaurants and my heart is like crying for the people that are going through that right now. I, I remember 2008. Um, I was in the real estate, I was a real estate agent in 2008. Well, actually in 2006 and seven, and then I saw it coming and got out and went into property, um, property leasing at in 2008 so i saw it coming and i saw the next five years and how difficult they were um unfortunately i still didn't change my money habits um but now that i see this i'm so thankful for the money habits that i have uh, a large part of that is me finding me my husband number one and him just having i have a spender i'm the spender and he's the saver um and him just having great, uh, I guess, knowledge and, and habits already put into place. So from there, I've done my own research over the last three years. I've really been into reading a lot of books and podcasts and I don't, I don't read the books. I don't have time for that. Audiobooks, when you're driving 40 to 45 minutes, audiobooks are your best friend. So I've really been um, con consuming and when I look over, I keep looking over, I'm just looking out. It's it's nice to actually look out a little bit, especially right now when we're so confined. Um, but I've been consuming some valuable information and I wanna share like my favorite books as far as um, what's really helped. I'm, reading, I'm listening to an awesome book right now that I didn't think I would ever listen to and it's called Open Book by Jessica Simpson. Yeah. It's really, really good. I'm, I'm almost to the part, point where I'm gonna like binge listen to it because you know, it's just so fascinating and interesting. And I found it through, I think it was an Instagrammer or somebody who would mentioned, um, who, I, who I, I really respected her opinion and mentioned the book. And I thought, really Jessica Simpson, how's this gonna be? Oh, it's great, it's got some great life values she writes it very well she reads it very well and it's wonderful to hear her speak it and hear her emotion in it that's another reason why i like audiobooks because i really like to hear from the people themselves so i mean right now if i could tell you anything it would be to stop watching the news um fortunately i mean you may have different political beliefs but i think that the president's doing a, a good job at trying to reassure us. I think everybody can, can say that. He doesn't know, none of us really know what's going to happen. You just have to be prepared. And if at this point, I think it's some, I can't remember the percentage, but it's over half of the people in America don't know what they're gonna do next week already as far as their paychecks. And people, some over 50%, live paycheck to paycheck and the majority of America couldn't handle a $400 emergency and it breaks my heart. I just hope that you guys have family that you can lean on in this time because that's typically in the last recession that's what happened for a lot of people as they were able to hang on to family. There are so many places hiring right now. I know there's a lot not working, but there's so many hiring, which is great, which wasn't the case back in 2008. This is a completely different situation and it's completely unprecedented. So we, I mean, you're really navigating through many different aspects of this 
pandemic, this recession, and um, it's it's all in the very beginning of it, but I hope that I can bring some light into it and start to give you tips and tricks and what I've learned over the last 10 to 15 years of um, going through different money struggles, and maybe it will help you to decide today's the day I need to do a budget. Today's the day I need to list out all of my debts. Today's the day I need to figure out what I would do if I did lose my job next week because we don't want to always face what's going to ha or could happen, but we're now getting smacked in the face with this could happen, you know, rather than the rose colored glasses of the last seven to eight years of the economy just being amazing. So maybe this is the time, maybe this is the step. So when we look at this as being a negative thing, a terrible thing, maybe change it and think this is a blessing. Think about what, what we could bring out of this. How could we make the coronavirus of 2020 the time that changed our lives for the better? So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to make it a blessing. I'm thinking positively what it can bring to all of us. So. I hope you guys um, stick around. If you are um, want to, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and you can watch my journey. I will be uploading videos as frequently as I can. And I have probably already like 60 topics that I want to cover, um, ranging from stories about my finance history to how I do save money. Um, and how we are at where we are right now today um and hopefully maybe something like that can help you and you guys can go with me um the next thing i need to do is april's budget and if you don't have a budget make a budget just shut this video off and go make a budget it's kind of like why wouldn't you have a budget you can't build a house without house plans or you can't build a solid house that you know the big bad wolf is not gonna uh, blow over if you don't have house plans your money the budget is are, is a plan for your money and otherwise you already probably do look and go well where the heck did my money go so you need to know where it went um, that's a conversation people have all the time where did my money go you need to know where it went so get that budget put it together I have a feeling it's gonna look for people who already do, do it, it's gonna look very different for April. I feel like everybody's budget as far as the savings is gonna increase, um, grocery budget possibly increase. Although I bought so much food, I didn't buy up all the toilet paper and other nonsense that was, that's currently being consumed. But you know, I bought lots of pastas, lots of sauces, lots of things, uh, freezable vegetables and um, fruit. Um, so I have a lot of the base things that I need if I were to go for my grocery budget in April. So I think a lot of it will be, um, you know, just fresh things that I will need in April. But I still think the budget will be a little bit larger because we are also gonna start, again, preparing for what's called preparedness for something like this that happens. Um, that way we don't ever have to panic again, I guess. And, um, you know, things are just gonna look a little bit different. There's gonna be less discretionary spending. Um, the restaurants are closed, so the restaurant budget might be a little bit lower as well, um, but we're also trying to do our what we can to support that industry with takeout during this time. Um, but I think April is going to look very different, and um, so I'll go through the budget here soon, and I hope you guys stick around, so hit that subscribe button, and if you can, before you leave, hit the like button. That really helps me out in the YouTube algorithm. They really like that like button a lot. And all you have to do is put your little finger on it. Can you put your little finger? All right, it's right there. Do you see it? It looks like this. All right, thank you, and I hope you guys have a great day. I am praying for your safety and your health, and heed the warnings of the government, but also make your own opinion.